I love it. Lots and lots of it. Oh yeah, there's a little hole here as well. Which, I played Resident Evil 3 before this one, and you can see the other side of the door with the hole in it, and I always wondered what was behind it. <laughs> it was actually, it's actually kind of cooler to play the, that way around, I think. Because then you get a glimpse of the police station, and then you see it fully in this one. But yeah... Well, that's a puzzle right there. Um, which we find by... <laughs> running and exploring and falling. The bronze plate with the picture on it. Basically, you have to match the plate with the bookcases. Very advanced system of uh, electronic. Although, I guess these things do exist. Like filing? I don't know. Maybe they don't. Wow, the HD texture like totally reveals how <laughs> it's just a flat image with the books on it. <laughs> The Serpent Stone. Pretty weird uh, abstract thing. Also, that's completely inefficient filing system. Uh, the amount of files you could fit in there if you actually wanted to. There's just four. Kind of crazy. Um, I'll take this. Red herb. If you mix a red herb with a green herb, you get a full herb. A <laughs> full herb! That's so weird when you say it. A full herb. Is that what it's called? I think it is, right? Or maybe it's just called mixed herb. Am I? Maybe I just called it a full herb. <laughs> Which makes no fucking sense. So it, just, it just heals you fully, basically. Uh, nothing there on this one. Stay down. And you can unleash the emergency ladder to create a nice uh, loop. Loop de loop. I think I need to reload. Oh, jeez, the resolution is just like. Refreshing. Because usually the sad thing about these games is when you play them in higher resolution, the models are obviously like higher res than the backgrounds because they're, you know, pre rendered. But now it looks pretty seamless. Almost seamless. There's the lighter. And here's the secretary's diary. A. Man, she keeps two diaries. Well, more than one, I guess. Uh, I accidentally moved one of the stone statues on the second floor when I leaned against it. When the chief found about, out about it, he was furious. One of the stone statues on the second floor. I swear the guy nearly hit my head off. Screaming at me never to touch the statue again. If it's so important, then maybe he shouldn't have put it out in the open like that. Is that, is, that, is that hinting at the player, like, hey, there's a puzzle there? Because you wouldn't necessarily know to move stuff, I guess. Um, yeah, these games were actually hard, I think. I, I think I read guides for a lot of... A lot of games were fucking hard, honestly. Um, back in the day. I heard that all the art pieces from the Chief's collection are rare items, literally worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know which is the biggest mystery, where he finds those tacky things, or where he's getting the money to pay for them. Ooh, May the 10th. I wasn't surprised to see the Chief come in today with yet another large picture frame in his hands. This time it was a really disturbing painting depicting a nude person being hanged. I was appalled by the expression of the Chief's face as he leered at the painting. Why anyone would consider something like that to be a work of art is beyond my comprehension. He is 
a character in a video game. <laughs> He's a character in a video game. Um, let's dump this stuff. Because I don't need it yet. Serpent stone. Man, I got a lot of healing. I don't... I think I need this stuff. Uh, let's save actually, because who knows if the game wants to crash? Because <laughs> it's a, it's an emulator. So let's just save. As much as it, it's like the goal is not to save in Resident Evil because you can get the S rank at the end of the game. And I'm just used to not saving, I guess, but there's it doesn't really matter. Like there's no reason not to. Besides, you want to conserve ink ribbons to some extent, I guess, but you usually get them next to the save uh the typewriters anyway, so uh Down this little fellow. Oh, there's another guy. And there's anything there at this point. Let's just get out of here. Oh. Man, I don't remember the lighting though. I'm pretty sure this is a GameCube thing actually. Like that green lighting, I'm pretty damn sure that's not in the original. Looks kind of cool though. Wait, what? Uh oh. Just a couple of uh, crows. Unlocked the uh, door. From the other side. And now we're back here. I'll 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 use it. I'll use it. And um I won't take it. Man, the atmosphere of the sounds as well is so good. <laughs> it's just like uh A bit less subtle, maybe, than modern games. Well, it, definitely, but I don't know, just kind of very striking, so. Ah, shit! Uh. Get out of there. <laughs> the crows will peck you. The birds. Uh, and there's a helicopter on fire with super low res <laughs> fire sprites. Oh, bit of lag there, I think. There's a lot of little movement tricks you can do to like s uh, uh, slide past zombies and stuff, but that's kind of uh, it's kind of part of the part of the fun, the strategy. Um, I think I just get the yeah valve. Oh, and you get the bogan. <laughs> Which uh, Kendo dropped at the beginning, but there, do I want it? I mean, I don't know. I'll take it. It's not very good, but also this is the the coolest door in the game. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> cool. <laughs> it's just like, they never did that anywhere else in the whole series. <laughs> so silly. Fuck. Actually, you know what? Does anyone remember House of the Dead? <laughs> that shooting game from, uh, you know, the arcade like shooter. 
Because I'm pretty sure the zombies were the same in like House of the Dead 2 and stuff, but I don't know if it was actually made by Capcom. Maybe... Uh, what am I doing? Trying to use the... Hello? Use the valve. I thought the zombies looked the same in like House of the Dead 2 and stuff, but I don't know if it's... if they actually are the same. I don't even know how that was supposed to work, really. Let's just turn the valve and blow a hole in the thing and It'll perfectly land on here. And then we can get some... Oh, I thought it was grenade bullets, but okay. Cheers. Uh, oh yeah, Sega. Yeah, it probably was. Wait, where are all the birds gone? <laughs> Pretty sure they're usually pecking on his face when you come back through. <laughs> oh yeah, so what that did, I didn't actually look before, but there was uh, it was on fire and you couldn't get through, whereas now I can. And there's a screaming woman. <laughs> Door's broken, there's no way through. There's no choice but to take out the wall. Okay, it's very drastic of you. Maybe Claire's a, I don't know, structural engineer or something. <laughs> I actually don't know what Claire does. Hmm. Uh, I think this is the diamond key, which is... Uh, Is that the door? Um, all the way on the other side, I think it was, right? Was it the heart key downstairs? I think. Uh, shit, I don't actually remember. I looked at the doors in order to remember, and I don't remember. Don't think I need the valve. Put this back in, put the bow gun away. And I'm going to take the grenade. Oh wait, I can use the um, crank as well, I think. Man, this chair is so uncomfortable. <laughs> I need a new chair. Really need a new chair. It's creaky. Um. Yeah, these games are kind of weird. Like, I always wonder what it would be like to play the first time again because when you know where things are but that's kind of that's why it's fun for me anyway it's like trying to remember where you go and what's the best order to do stuff in but it would be interesting to play for the first time again because some of the things are just like why would you ever figure that out or <laughs> uh i forgot about this guy but i do have the grenade launcher I think if you do it right, you can kill him in two shots. You have to like wait for him to. Oh shit! Uh. Uh, what do I do? Run? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, there we go. Usually it kills him in two, but I think it's like it's kind of weird. You have to wait for them to get all the way back up because I think the animation makes them semi-invincible or something. But then you might have to hit him on the head perfectly as well. I don't know. All right, I can use the crank here. But that's all I can do for now because 
up here is I'll just show you. Let's I'll try and um, for people who don't know the game, I guess I'll just try and show things. So there's this little gap with a cog. It looks like a switch. Will you press it? That sound. Uh, yeah, you need a cog, and then there's a door, but it opens, I think. Iron plate it seems to have been moved recently. Wait, there's something written on it. Power source for the clock. The gears are clean. Oh, but it doesn't. I think maybe it's just a scratch. I don't know. It's nothing. Man, oh, there's a section in Resident Evil 3 where Nemesis jumps up onto the third floor. I've literally seen it, like, once. I don't even know how you trigger it, but it's so cool. <laughs> like, I'm not even sure if I just dreamt it once when I was a kid, because <laughs> I've never seen it again. I'm pretty damn sure it happens, but... I've just never been able to trigger it. Oh, no, wait, no, wait, it wasn't Nemesis. Was it Mr. X in this one, maybe? Ah, oh, shit, I don't remember. Wait, that that coffee machine says regular coffee. Regular coffee, my favourite. Don't want none of that fancy stuff. None of that variety, just some regular coffee. For me. Uh, I think he was dead here, yeah. Have, like bad coffee. Oh, walking into walls. That's what you do. <laughs> also, with stairs in this, you have to press A to move up and down them. But then in Resi 3, you can just like freely walk up and down. And zombies can move up and down them too. But it's kind of interesting how this game and then Resi 3 set up, um, I don't know, like mechanics for future games. Uh, this is why I didn't. Oh, I do have two shots. <laughs> this is why I brought it. Um, uh, there we go. Ah, oh, there's some other fucker. Ha! <laughs> Yay! Bogan darts. I... I mean, they're just so bad. I don't... I can't remember if I have space. Get the plastic bomb. Hell, it's just a C4 written on it. Nice. All I need now to destroy the wall being blocked by the helicopter is a detonator. I actually think Claire comes to that. Wait, oh, fuck off. Seriously? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I want you to lure this guy out. I think Claire comes to the conclusion that you're going to blow up the wall <laughs> before the player. Hang on a minute. <laughs> That's two. Actually, it would be kind of cool if Claire was like a bit of a bit of a tear away <laughs> compared to Chris, but I don't think she is. Uh, yeah, I don't want the film. The film you develop the film, and it's just like one of the files. Um, pretty sure one of them's the picture of the stars team, but I don't remember. So we are in the room where we saw Marvin beginning of the game. Here he is. <laughs> no, Marvin! <laughs> whoa, 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 he's right. Okay, dude. 
Uh, I should actually maybe have brought. Oh no, he died quick. Usually he's like a super zombie. But I think there's a lot of variation in, in the way he works, but sometimes he just never dies. Okay, well we got the detonator. Bomb and detonator. Now, well, is a bomb without a detonator a bomb? Maybe it is, I don't know. I don't know what the definition of bomb is, but I feel like it's not really a bomb if it can't explode. Uh, what have I got? Oh yeah. Let's do this. I'll go this way because I can avoid the liquor. But. But uh, I can light the fire under the painting and get a goodie, because that's <laughs> that is just how these games roll. <laughs> I don't know. I love adventure games. They're just so random. Like, <laughs> did you really expect? I can get hiding something behind a painting, but did he expect someone to burn their way through the painting to get it? Like, am I accidentally doing that? Am I just like randomly setting fire to something and then happening to get something out of it? Or was that the actual intention? I have no idea. Let's set fire to this. There you go. Oh, this is the hanging guy that the secretary talked about. Oh, I guess maybe if you're more observant it would make sense, fair enough. <laughs> if they were like, if you realised it was the hanging picture and the secretary then... Okay, you know what, maybe it's subtle, I guess, but that means the secretary did talk about two puzzles to guide you there, but that's, that seems pretty, like, I don't know, very subtle. Um... I guess I use that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I don't know. We've got both those though. So let's go back to the other side of the building. You can skip these door scenes on the PC version, but it kind of means that you just never watch them. I don't know, there's sort of like a pacing element that I like about these. <laughs> Although I, yeah, it can get repetitious if you're like going the wrong way and stuff. But... But if you can skip them, it means you never watch them, so it's a bit... Dunno. Mm, dunno. Maybe they should all just be a bit quicker, or I dunno. I dunno what the... The best way to do them would be, really. Uh... Alright, I don't think I need the lighter. I do need the jewel. Um, and the detonator. And... I guess I can. The, f the flame rounds you can put in the grenade launcher. It has. Um, what does it have in this one? Just f just flame and normal rounds, I think, maybe? And they added a bunch more in the set in the third game. Alright, let's set the explosive, I guess. Very safe. Very professional, Claire. Alright, we're blowing the door off. Blown the bloody door off. But first we're gonna grab the thing that you get here. With the jewels, because they go in these little busts.
And we get a super low res video. Whoops. Oh, reposition myself. There we go. Oh, we get one of those stones. That's what we get. Yeah, the door scenes were pretty cool. I like them a lot. Uh, should have brought the other stone piece just to get rid of it, but... Alright, let's go into this room where the scream came from. And there is a dead girl. <laughs> Such a <laughs> classic. Look at that neck. <laughs> Fucking hell. That's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her. But I failed miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin, nothing short of perfection. Hmm. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain or by decapitating her completely. Cool. I think that taxidermy used to be my hobby, but no longer. Please, I don't really know what he's <laughs> suggesting there. Uh, can I talk to him? Please, I'd really like to be alone now. Okay, look at that neck. My God, he has no chin at all. <laughs> Uh, it's just <laughs> it's the model. The neck is just the same width as as his head. That's Intense. Chief Irons. It's a nice uh, tiger there. Someone's playing with me. Let's turn on the light. Ooh. Wait, let me go. Easy, easy there. I know. <laughs> like a Claire's torso is like coming away from her uh, hips. Leon, come in. I found the girl, and I've cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Got it. My name's Claire. What's yours? Sherry. Do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant, near the city limits. The chemical plant? Then, what are you doing here? My mom called, and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home from the look of things i'd say she was probably right but it's dangerous here as well <laughs> better me. i like how her eyebrows are just in that sort of i don't know what it is feel sorry for me face much larger than any of those zombies and it's coming after me what was that <laughs> my phone made a noise exactly the same time sherry wait Uh, well, she's gone now. Secretary's Diary B. As I was straightening up the chief's room, he burst through the door with a furious look on his face. It's only been two months since I've started working here, but that's the second time I've seen him like this. 
The last time is when I bumped into that statue, only this time he looked even more agitated than ever. I seriously thought for a moment he was going to hurt me. June the 15th, I finally discovered what the chief has been hiding all along. He finds out that I know my life will be in serious danger. It's getting late already, I'm just going to have to take this one day at a time. Okay, what's he <laughs> She didn't write what he was hiding. And I don't know what he's hiding precisely. Uh, nothing useful, just various objects of art. Like a very judgmental Claire. Turn the sound of my phone off, I guess. Oh, it is, but whatever. Chief? Chief? He's gone. Oh, another diary. It's the Chief's diary, like I just left that behind. And it uh, fell out of his back pocket or something. September the 23rd, it's all over. Those imbeciles from Umbrella have finally done it. Despite all our promises, they've ruined my town. Soon the streets will be infested with zombies. I'm beginning to think that I may be infected myself. I'll kill everyone in town if this turns out to be true. <laughs> Alright then. Oh, I guess it's a zombie means. I was successful in spreading confusion among the police as planned. I've made sure that no one from the outside will come to help. With the delays in police actions, no one will have the chance to escape my city alive. I've seen it personally, I've seen to it personally that all escape routes from inside the precinct have been cut off as well. Uh, there are several survivors still attempting to escape through the lower levels, but I'll make sure no one gets out. I've had a change of heart about the remaining survivors inside the precincts. I've decided to hunt them down myself. Okay, I shot Ed in the back of the head through the heart less sorry, the back of the head through the heart doesn't make any sense. I shot Ed in the back through the heart less than an hour ago. I watched him writhe in pain upon the floor in a pool of his own blood. The expression on his face was positively exquisite. He died with his eyes wide open, staring up at me. It was beautiful. <laughs> Jesus. I wonder if the mayor's daughter is still alive. I let her escape so I could enjoy hunting her down later. I'm going to enjoy my new trophy. Yes, frozen forever in the pose I choose to give her. That's uh, kind of gross. Now well, we have a puzzle. The sacrifice dies by the claw of the jaguar. Uh, oh, I didn't actually read the rest. Shit. Oh no. And the gateway of doom will open. Okay. Um, oh, we only have the half piece though. That's stupid. I do have the heart key though. Which means I can go and unlock the door downstairs. I'm a bit confused though. Why I have diamond key still. I might know what door it's for though. Um, <laughs> trying to think what I want. I think I'm okay with just this for now. Uh, I don't think I need the grenade launcher. Put that away. I'm just trying to remember where that key is used. I think it might be in the same, similar place if we go downstairs. Probably corruption, I don't know. <laughs> Well, I think I can't remember mentioned in the third game or not, but I think a lot of reckon 
city is just like built or like funded and stuff by Umbrella, I think. Like, I can't remember if it says that in the third game. Because I think they do own the hospital and stuff there, but I don't know if they're like. I think Rook and City is kind of just like a town that exists only because Umbrella's there, <laughs> essentially. Alright, I just used the heart key, but I think the diamond key is through here, maybe? And there is a green herb there, but got lots. I think there's a door in here that's the, that needs the diamond key. And there is a zombie. Right in front of you. That <laughs> big square feet. She's right in the middle. Come on. I really need to kill her, but why not? There we go. Use the precinct key. It's useless. We can get rid of it. Throw it away. Just leaving a trail of litter behind us. Oh, it's one of these. Eagle stone. Well then, let's, let's just leave that room. Let's just leave that behind us. And... I don't th think he's in here now. <laughs> Come on, wait a minute. Oh, it is smashed. I thought the window wasn't smashed. Um. <laughs> oh. oh, come on, dude. Oh, it's. Oh, I might actually. No, I'm not going to die now. I'm not going to die. That was for nothing. <laughs> that was for ammo. Yeah, table got you. All right, that was pointless. I thought there was uh, <laughs> something, something more valuable. Ah, shit! I should have brought the. Um... Wait, I think I need a key for that. I think club club key. Okay, I need the lighter for that room. So I'll have to try and remember that. Oh, it's glorious playing this in such a good resolution. Whoa, look at all the text on there. Did they did that really come out of AI upscaling? Rema something remained silent. Wait, <laughs> it's the uh, the thing that the police have to say. You have the right to remain silent. Can be used against. Uh, have the right to something for advice before we something. You have the something lawyer with you. If you cannot, one will be appointed. My quest, something questioning. If you decide to answer questions, the lawyer present. Blah blah. Huh. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, like there's no actual transcription of it. So, I wonder if they did that manually or whether they like. That's just the AI upscaling. Oh, fuck off. 
there's like a huge light bulb the size of her head. Eat grenade. 